If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist yet, I'll drop a link below in the description so you can grab it. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a logo to your Squarespace website, and I'll also tell you what file format it should be and what it should not be. Hi, I'm here in my Scribe template for authors again. If you want to jumpstart your own web design, check out my template shop. I'll put a link below. All right, so you want to add a logo to your website. If you don't have a logo, you can go to squarespace.com slash logo and create your own very simple logo there. Of course, there are lots of other options out there for logo creation. I have a mini course on branding with Canva. I'll drop a link to that below as well. But if you just need to get something up quickly, this is a great option. So let's just go ahead and I'll put in my name, lowercase. Let's say I'm an author. And I write books about magic. So I'm going to type in magic here for my symbol. And there are a lot of options here. Oh, there's some really cute ones. I want something very simple. I like this magic wand. It's very plain and simple and minimal. I'm going to drag it over here. Be careful when you're clicking and dragging. If it's something like this, you have to click right on the icon, not inside the box to be able to drag it. And once I have my spacing right, I can change the color of my logo or the font of my logo. But I'm pretty happy with it as it is. Now, you'll notice I'm going to be putting this on a pink background. So I'm actually going to use a white version of the logo. But the nice thing is Squarespace is going to create that for me. I'll click download here and I'm going to download my white logo. You can go ahead and grab these other ones if you'd like. It will give you one in color if you created it in color along with the black and white versions. And now I'm back in my website. I'm ready to upload my logo. I promised I'd tell you about file formats. Well, Squarespace does it right. It gives us a transparent PNG file. That means that when I upload it, it's not going to have this box around it, right? So I don't want a big giant box to appear here with my logo in the middle. I just want my logo superimposed on this header. So that's what it will look like. Let's go ahead and edit site header. I'm going to click over on site title and logo, click the pencil icon, click add logo, upload file, upload my logo file here. And this is where I can adjust the size of my logo. So that is way too small. We're going to make it bigger adjust the height. So once you have it the size you want it on desktop, go ahead and click this little mobile view icon in the upper right. And again, it's really tiny here. So click on that, click the pencil icon. We're going to make the mobile logo size large as well so you can see it on the phone. Go ahead and click save. I'll go back to my desktop view and we have your logo added. Now what not to do? If you have a logo that is a JPEG format, let me show you what that would look like. I'll upload my file and I'm going to click that logo here and you will see that JPEGs always have a background around them. So it looks pretty terrible. And if you don't have a transparent PNG file, it will look this way too. So make sure when you're saving your logo file, if you're not in a system that's doing it for you, that you choose a transparent background and the PNG file format for it to look its best on your website. And there you have it. That is how you add a logo to Squarespace. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find my videos. Thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best with your website.